What I'd like to teach you today is how to find the molecular mass of cobalt-3 sulfide. So to help us organize the information, I'm going to make a little table. Bam! So the first thing we have to do is fill out the elements that we see in the compound. So we see cobalt, CO, and we see sulfur, S. Next is to take into consideration the number of atoms of each, and that's where these subscripts come into play. So for cobalt, there's a 2, and then for sulfur, there's a 3. So that means we have two elements of cobalt and three, uh, well, I should say two atoms of cobalt and three uh, atoms of sulfur. It could also represent moles, by the way, as well, but here we're just concerned with the magnitudes. So the mass of the element now is found on the periodic table. So let's take a look. So cobalt here is 58.93, and sulfur here is going to be 32.07. So that's what we're going to write down. So 58... 58.93 for cobalt, 32, 32.07 for sulfur. And now we're going to find the total mass of each element in the compound. All we have to simply do is take the mass and then multiply it by the number of atoms or moles. It depends if you're solving for molar mass or molecular mass. And uh, when we do that multiplication on out, the total mass of cobalt now is about 117.86 units of mass. The total then mass of a sulfur down here is going to be about 96.21 units of mass. And to find then the mass of the entire compound, guess all you got to do? Guess what? Add the column together. All right. So this is 214.8, excuse me, 0 0.07. And since we're solving for molecular mass, the units down here are in terms of AMU, atomic mass units. And that's it. Easy as pie, right? Thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe if you can. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.